First half, we were really good. Uh, frustrated a really good side. Uh, scored off a set piece, which we'd obviously worked on. We didn't work on Richie Tal scoring it from the rebound off the keeper, to be fair, but um, it was still a good set piece. Pity we didn't go 2 0 up. And then, regrettably, we had to take our winger off and our centre half off, uh, which um, killed us a little bit, I think. And then, second half, um, Norwich moved the ball really well, made it difficult, created enough chances to comfortably win the game. And, um, you know, we could have gone 2 0 up, but we didn't. And I think, you know, well, the scoreline could have been greater than what it was in the end. I think that would have probably flattered Norwich, but they deserved the win. They created more chances than we did. That'd be my assessment. Yeah, well, it was pretty much like that, wasn't it? You did very well first half, but then cut loose second half. Yeah. Came from some very good players. Yeah, well, they're very good players, aren't they? So it doesn't surprise me. It's just that, um, you know, the lads are well coached here. They're highly motivated, but unfortunately, we made a couple of errors today, which against very good teams you've got to get punished and that was definitely the case today. Was that a poor goal from you? Did your first Norwich goal where the player couldn't get the pass in the end? Yeah, I, I thought in fairness, I mean I watch it back at the time I just thought it was an excellent goal. I mean every goal is stoppable. I don't think you have many managers who sit here and say, Yeah, I was really pleased with that first goal but in fairness it was good movement and it was an unbelievable finish with the ball behind him. I was surprised he finished it from there. But they were always playing, like Pukey was always playing on the, you know, on the offside line, always probing and his movement was good and it was, I, I didn't have, I, well, obviously I have an issue because I don't want it to go in, but I thought their first goal was a good goal, but the second and third ones that we definitely should have done better with. Overall, do you think your, your team gave you a reasonable account of the you know, all the circumstances of the team? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I think uh, first half we definitely did and that's how we are. Um, I just think second half uh, with 20 minutes to go at 2-1, I really fancy my team to get us a draw at least. You know, we had two uh, big target men and the third goal absolutely killed us. And in fairness, after that, they could have got another. So that was the disappointing thing. I think the third goal like really knocked the weight out of them. I, I don't think... Everyone's seen the best of my team today, but you know, for the majority of the game, they they give me everything, so I can't complain. There's a few members of the Ward family here today. Too. Yeah, both my brothers were here. My wife was here. My kids were here. Three or four of my best mates were here, which I'm now going to go and see. Yeah. My father watched it streamed online, so um, he watched it with my mother. Yeah. So uh, so it was it was still an you know an amazing occasion for me. I'm just obviously disappointed because I still take the emotion out of it. I didn't come here to lose. I came here to you know I. I think I've got a great team full of great players, but um, it's disappointing we haven't come away with at least something. Is that the line out approach you've made in the team and the club that you are going away from here, sitting at the top of the table, and that you are disappointed? Yeah, well, I like to think so. The change room are disappointed because they know they've let themselves down. And, you know, I, I know it sounds crazy. And I know managers have to give a persona of, you know, complete belief and trust in their team, but mine, mine is honest and genuine. I love my players. So. I'm not surprised that we came here and took the lead and 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 dominated a little bit first half. But it is disappointing that we've lost um, because every game we go into, we we try and win. I mean, we've we've suddenly become the draw specialist. I don't know how we've got that mantra. We couldn't buy a draw last year, but uh, so we need to turn draws into wins. And uh, today, you know, at the end, I you know I'd have been happy with a point, but it wasn't to be. Obviously, you were here on business, but you touched on there. It was a special day for you and your family. Yeah, it was definitely. Can we assess it? What yeah. Was your emotions? Out? Yeah. Sports that would come out. Yeah. And it almost looked like you were taking in at the front of the technical area and you heard it on the ball city as well. Was that? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny because my uh, old roomie's my goalie coach now, Polly. So I used to always sing him that song on a Saturday morning when we stayed away in a hotel. It used to be hilarious. So, uh, but he sings it back to me and he don't get the words right. So it was, it was surreal. I won't, I won't say it wasn't. I'm always out late. I have this ridiculous superstition I don't want to share, but. Uh, everyone else leaves and I do something. Nah, it's not that embarrassing. I just clean my teeth. I don't know why. I can't stop doing it. My teeth aren't that great either. I don't know why. But So I'm always the last one out. And, and I always like to go to the opposition dugout and shake hands. Whereas if I'm out first, I can't. So it's like a bit of a superstition, I suppose. And it was it was a little bit surreal. And my assistant said to me, you know, I've said about it before. My dad's not well. And whether, you know, Norwich are in this league or I'm in this league or I'm in a job, whatever the case may be, the chances of him seeing me manage again at Norwich is beyond slim 
So my mate just said to me, make sure you enjoy it, pal. And after 20 minutes, he just said to me, he said, are you enjoying it? I said, well, I'm surviving it. I don't enjoying it is a hard thing to say as a football manager. But it was, it was a, you know, it was disappointing for us to lose. And, you know, we didn't probably play at our best today, second half especially. But I'm going to go out all my family and friends now and try and enjoy my life. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, in fairness, like my opinion is pretty rubbish. After the first game of the season against Brentford, I tipped them to go up. They're the best team we've played. That team on the first day of the season, literally we could have 15 players and we wouldn't have won. They were the best team. Leeds have been very good. Sheffield United are very good. There's a lot of very good teams. I just think the teams who can grind out wins, um, you know, I think historically Norwich aren't amazing at grinding out wins they either win comfortably or lose uh, but I thought today against obviously we're quite a physical team uh, for them to bounce back at 1-0 down and comfortably win in the end 3-1 is testament to them and probably testament to their credentials going forward that they have got a bit of backbone in this team so you know I'm not a gambler but if I was you think Norwich will definitely finish top six but where in that top six there's some amazing teams yeah. Yeah, I've I've played here a couple of times. No, I played for Rotherham twice here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've been a member of staff here, which uh, was uh, weird. But I've never had the uh, I say joy. Uh, I've never had the <laughs> the joy of standing in the uh, uh, technical area. Did you play for Norwich Reserves? No, no. I came for a trial here when I was fifteen. Uh, with Chris Sutton, I used to play with Chris Sutton at half for Tornadoes, and I came for a trial on a Thursday and Friday. I remember this vividly. Yeah. Glad you've asked me. <laughs> and Webby was the uh, like youth team manager at the time, and I trained Thursday, Friday as anyone who lives in Norfolk's dream to play for Norwich. Yeah. And he said, "Oh, well done, last couple of days. I'll phone you and we'll get you in Monday." So I, was, I went home at the weekend thinking, "Great." Never got a phone call. Really? Disgusting, isn't it? No, I was. I think I was still at high school then. Yeah, I, I might have just. Saw, I might have been at Great Yarmouth then. Yeah, I was yeah. at Yarmouth when I was fifteen. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, which is weird because I quite like him, but I've I've never forgiven him for that. <laughs> it's no way to treat someone, is it? Not a fifteen-year-old kid. You got to phone him and tell him, haven't you? Yeah, so you just ended up uh, yeah, I ended up playing. Yeah, I went uh, Yarmouth and I went to Dis. Uh, played there. Went to university in Nottingham. Yeah. Used to travel back every weekend to play. Loved it. Saw all my mates and that. Loved it. Great life. Then uh, we won at Wembley, didn't we? And then the following year, I signed for Wrexham for a year. Um, I remember you scoring a goal down there. I, uh, I scored a hat trick here in a cup final. Maybe it was that. Yeah, I yeah. scored. Wrexham beat Dis in the cup yeah. final, which was a bit awkward yeah. for me. And I scored a hat trick. Yeah. 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 Sorry. yeah. Sorry, That's right. No, I forgot about that game. It's cheered me up. That. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Good. Yeah.